Hello everybody, in this video we take a look at the build for Nightmare Spite. This build uh, will make you very very tanky, but it also makes you uh, have the confidence to jump into a large group of enemies and eliminate them fast. We use uh, damage over time, all right, alongside very good damage of the Nitrous Bite. So basically we have a Nitrous Bite with Committed, level 3, exploding. So in case we're dealing with many raid captains, you know, threat increases, it takes more time to eliminate enemies. We don't have critical hit here, but uh, we're going to have we're going to have Gong of Weakening to increase the damage when you need it and exploding. So the idea with this build, we jump into the face of enemies, let them group around you because exploding will do what it needs to be done. Just eliminate enemies as fast as possible. And because you're jumping into a group of enemies, weakening will really help. The Gong will help. And we also have, of course, I want a double that will protect you. We can also wall to reduce incoming damage and attack speed, movement speed and attack speed of enemies using this winter touch ball. When you roll, you're going to deal also poison cloud damage. We're also reducing the cooldowns and freezing enemies as well. All right. So we have poison cloud here and poison cloud here. And with the mystery armor, we have poison focus, which increase the damage of the, of the poison cloud. Uh, and we have frenzy because we're well controlled over the damage just in case we get to 50 uh, we can increase our attack speed so we did even more damage and also heal faster because we have life seal aura as well we have potion barrier this is the sos you won't need it 80 percent of the time uh, sorry 90 percent of the time you won't need it. in very specific situation where you see like really you're really gonna pay attention to how much damage you're gonna get it's not like gonna get boom and you're gonna die so just keep it for as an SOS button because overall uh, the Iron that Amulet with all the, the other debuffs uh, and the Guarding Strike you'll be very very well protected but there are many some situations especially when more Red Captains kind of uh, you know ramping in uh, you uh, find a way to actually activate it but still you're going to be very very tanky so let's take a look at some gameplay all right one thing most, most important here is to make sure that you are engaged with enemies especially group of enemies because this is where you really shine uh, you're going to take advantage of the exploding of course the gong will be activated for all the enemies around you and you'll be able to deal damage when enemies explode as you can see here to all the enemies nearby and that had enemies lots of health so we just eliminated all the other enemies very fast and this is the magic of exploding which otherwise it would make more time of course this just was instantly i was just letting one big enemy and all the other ones were near me actually died Take a look, like with the poison, dealing damage over time, help me eliminate enemies, even if I'm not fighting with them currently directly. It's very, very satisfying doing this, seeing you in the cloud of poison. And of course, this poison damage is also amplified because of the poison focus, so we deal more damage. Again, uh, many don't like it because the damage is not like super high compared to the inflict poison, but uh, overall, you're going to see that it's very effective uh, and works really well. In the highest difficulties and with raid captains uh, again this is kind of a supplementary to the build but buffed so you kind of make more without actually the buff and this is the reason i took it the poison focus it won't be of course effective much less effective but the reason i chose the poison focus uh, sorry the poison cloud on the bow because i have the on my uh, mystery armor i have the poison focus to increase the damage yeah, so it's a very satisfying build and it worked, by the way, very, very well. Uh, the more raid captain I got, I felt like, ah, this scales very well. I just actually was able to do this uh, relatively with ease. Well, I died one time, but uh, silly mistake. I just didn't activate my Iron Hand Amulet and I actually stepped on one of these. So, yeah, as you can see, no brain. <laughs> so this is one situation where it's totally my fault because, come on. And I just activated them after I died, <laughs> a second after I got hit. It's quite funny. Or maybe a second before but already got hit and just insta killed me uh yeah so yeah mistakes were made but it doesn't really affect the build was is very very uh, powerful as long as you activate your shields and you stay tanky uh you're gonna be very very safe uh just make sure that sometimes you need to activate you see the exploding works so well it's gonna get out just hitting one to get the extra shield the damage reduction sorry uh and get heal a bit and then going back to action cool now the thing is that you know i personally prefer the guarding strike than refreshment because i like the ability to just hit enemy when fighting 
and getting this extra uh, rather than being in a situation where you don't get enough to actually get the refreshment while fighting maybe a big enemy and or you know I don't need to time it I know eliminating enemy I know I'm gonna get this this defense this extra 50% uh, damage reduction and for me this is great while fighting because I can just stop for a second get a small enemy get the shield back and continue fighting I mean this is the idea what I actually like the it's more manageable for me uh, in the heat of the battle because I know what to do but of course I'm not taking uh, not saying that the refreshment is not good just saying that personally I prefer for some builds of course to use guarding strike than refreshment Yes, yeah, so overall the build works very well, and uh, you can do this with several red captains. Of course, in some situation where you're going to be very low, you need to watch out, especially when your uh, HP decreases significantly, and this is really bad for many builds. And this is the time where you need to make sure that you have the guarding strike active when engaging with enemies, or maybe just make sure in some situation that you have your potion barrier, kind of SOS button. But again, it depends. But most of the time, you'll be fine. But just watch out because once your HP is reduced by, let's like, say, 60%, uh, it's going to be more significant here. But Frenzy will help you a bit, but overall just watch out. Or it makes you eliminate enemies and then focus on the big enemies. So you know that you are very tanky and don't get... Because without this, you can, you can even, you know, a few shots, they can actually just get you down. Anyway, just pay attention to this, but this is true to every build, most of the builds. But overall, this build was really fun, very powerful. Uh, and works very well. Uh, you can decide, by the way, the gong was uh, I first off the gong and got such a elixirs, but it didn't work well, so I decided just to stay with the gong. Uh, again, because of the extra damage that was missing, I didn't have a critical hit. So, you know, it kind of helped to increase the damage in certain situations, especially when enemies got beefier. So I decided to stay with this, and it works very well. So this is the build. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, let me know. And you're going to see you soon on more builds. See you soon. Bye bye.